Atom Limbs is developing the Atom Touch, which they describe as the first prosthetic human arm. According to the Atom Limbs website, it will have a near-complete human range of motion, restore a rudimentary sensation of touch, and be non-invasively mind-controlled. You may sign up for updates or apply for the Atom Preview program on the website, and it will be available in 2023. Welcome to today's episode of AI News. In this episode, I will show you how Atom Limbs is going to completely revolutionize the medical industry, both in terms of brain-computer interfaces, and creating actual functional artificial limbs. Adam Lim's CEO, Tyler Hayes, told Interesting Engineering that the gadget was inspired by learning about how the healthcare system has failed patients with limb loss. Because of the low quality and usefulness of the available alternatives, just one in every five persons chooses to use prostheses. Adam Limbs was founded with the goal of revolutionizing the $800 billion plus physical disability market by producing high quality prostheses for the more than 65 million people who are missing limbs. Hayes went over the Atom Touch's features and what makes it so special. An artificial arm is what we call the Atom Touch. It will function similarly to a natural arm, restoring a near complete range of motion, allowing individual finger control, being comfortable to wear all day, restoring a rudimentary sensation of touch, and being far less expensive than current prostheses, Hayes asserted. The Atom Touch is connected to a cuff, which is a wearable gadget that is attached to a shirt. These contain an integrated brain-to-computer interface that detects signals from the user's body, including their residual limb, and allows them to operate it. The arm is completely non-invasive and wearable. Hayes noted that the artificial limb's long-term objective was to act exactly like a genuine arm. Of course, it hasn't quite reached that point yet. We don't connect directly to your neurological system. However, this may be essential in the future to restore complete feeling, for example. The Atom Touch will be used by anyone who has had their arm amputated. It's made to be non-intrusive and simple to put on and take off as required. It's meant to provide dexterity, weight, a full range of motion, and force production on par with humans. Musk's company, Neuralink, is also developing brain implants that connect the cerebral cortex to computers directly. Musk spoke about his groundbreaking investment at the Wall Street Journal's CEO Summit earlier this month. Neuralink is functioning well in monkeys, and we're doing a lot of testing to demonstrate that it's highly safe and dependable, and that the Neuralink device can be securely removed. We plan to have it in our first humans next year, who will be those with severe spinal cord injuries such as tetraplegics and quadriplegics, subject FDA permission. Hayes also explained how he came up with the idea for Atom Limbs. The idea for Atom Limbs came from reading about the system's failures in caring for persons who have lost limbs. Only one in every five persons who have lost an arm chose to use a prosthesis because the current devices are of such low quality and usability that they do more harm than benefit. This seems absurd in a world when we have reusable rockets and electric autos. More Atom Limbs was created to reclaim the limbs of the 65 million or so individuals who are missing limbs and transform the $800 billion physical handicap market, Hayes said. Hayes thinks that his efforts will help to repair the damaged prosthesis business. The prosthetic sector is in a state of disarray. Only one out of every five limb different persons wears one, claiming a lack of utility and even pain when doing so. Some people are made to feel even more handicapped by these transitional prostheses, Hayes said. Because even the most advanced prostheses are essentially simply a hook that appears like a hand, this is the case. They're about the farthest thing from intuitive. Users are unable to move their fingers, are confined to 10 preset, grips, are unable to reach above their heads, are unable to move joints at the same time, lose their sense of touch, suffer musculoskeletal problems, and the list goes on. This isn't going to cut it. We can completely transform the physical handicap sector with contemporary robotics, and for the first time, create artificial limbs that bring actual value to people's lives rather than impede them," added he. Atom Touch will be available for testing in the company's preview program in Q2 of this year, with Atom Limbs aiming for a 2023 release. Check out this list for more stunning prostheses. Until we unleash our capacity to create a new leg, prosthetics appear to be the best option for amputees. Arrays of electrodes are implanted in parts of the brain that govern movement and process the feeling of touch from a normal limb in the robotic neuroprosthetic system. 
As the patient thinks about moving their own arm, the electrodes detect activity in neurons and command the robotic arm to move accordingly. The prosthetic hand is equipped with sensors that detect touch sensations, such as pushing on particular fingertips, and send electrical impulses to the brain's relevant locations. Benzmaya and Hatsopoulos' years of study into how the nervous system interprets sensory feedback, guides limb movement, and sees them in space will be included into the prosthesis. Benzmaya's group has created software algorithms that use a biomimetic method to replicate how a person's natural nervous system communicates signals from the hand to the brain to duplicate the experience of touch using the BCI. Hatsopoulos researches motor control and how brain cells collaborate to coordinate and acquire complicated arm and hand movements. In the past, BCI control has emphasized limb movement in free space. The goal of our effort is to address the tough problem of directing the hand when it comes into touch with and manipulates items, Hatsopoulos stated. The UChicago research team will continue to enhance their prior work with their Pittsburgh collaborators in order to include more dexterity and precision motions into the prosthesis. While the BCI market is diverse, with recreational consumer items and psychiatric treatments, the potential to integrate robotic parts to compensate for human frailties holds the most promise. The issue isn't with the prosthetic hand's mechanics, but with the prosthetic control interface, Tripathy explained. Amputees find it difficult to utilize current prosthetic control systems because they are unintuitive, only capable of a few grasps, and have unpredictable performance. The Cornell scientist came to BCI as a solution as a result of his own adventure. A BCI, in essence, decodes cerebral activity and converts it into an external command, which may be utilized in a variety of applications, including assistive technology. The BCI converts the incoming signals into a hand movement and then sends commands to the prosthetic hand to accomplish that action. Tripathy's firm is nearing completion of its first prototype, which will include mechanical phalanges, for a growing list of potential customers. At Cybathlon 2024, Tripathy intends to demonstrate off its own robotic hand. Cybathlon is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to put BCI performance to the test in a variety of everyday tasks. Most significantly, it is a venue where the indomitable human spirit joins forces with human intellect to declare that we can and will not be constrained by any limits," she concluded. We are really happy to be a part of the team in 2024. This notion is in line with Sigrist's conception of the conference as a movement. Tripathy claims that Cybathlon is a catalyst for advancing technologies like hers, which will eventually revolutionize the care paradigm. Many of the physical obstacles we experience now, whether due to infirmity or old age, will become less of a difficulty and more of an increased duty. BCI will change how we do things in order to make the world a safer, more productive, and more accessible place. It will allow us to work more quickly, learn faster, and reinvent how we produce and engage with art, music, and other forms of media. So, what is your opinion on Atomic Limbs' new way of creating artificial limbs and do you expect that in the future, they will be used by a wide range of people? Regardless of whether or not they're handicapped, please tell us your opinion in the comment section below. I would love to hear what you have to say about it. Thank you for watching AI News. We consistently report on the newest technologies that are shaping the future of our world. We'd appreciate you subscribing and watching our other videos. See you around and take care.